welcome back to another Jao Movies video and today we'll be talking about the five things we need to see in the upcoming Marvel Netflix Defender mini series. And today with me I have my friend Arik Andrea. What's up guys? So guys, we will go right to the list very soon, but first of all, there's going to be a spoiler warning. We will be talking about the upcoming series and of course we do speculations because we don't know what's going to be in the series, right? And with that speculation, there is bound to be spoilers. So I'm warning you right now, there will be spoilers. And yeah, I'm give you, I give you time to leave the video if you want to. But if not, then it's your fault because I already gave you the warning, all right? And both of us have seen all the five five season of the series. Daredevil season 1 and 2, mm -hmm. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. We've seen all of them. And so we'll be talking about it right now. All right, before we start... We will be talking about our general thoughts, just simple really, about the five series, that, the four series that we've seen in the Netflix universe. Arik, would you like to start off? Um, well, I would like to start with Daredevil, both uh, the season one, season two. Um, they're practically the best one, um, more specifically Daredevil season one, which was the best in my mind. Next being Daredevil season two. Okay. And then um, I actually like Luke Cage, it's the second best in my opinion, um, because the, the, since I'm a guy who likes action movies um, and all that, um, I like yeah, Luke Cage all in all because he has like great action in there. Um, third would be Jessica Jones because it actually has a very compelling story and a great character development. That's and, true. and lastly, Iron Fist. It was. Well, it was actually quite good in my mind, except it was kind of a disappointment compared to the rest. We kind of have to agree on that. <laughs> I agree on Iron Fist. It is probably the worst out of the four. I don't yeah. think it's as bad as the critics say it. Because if you see Rotten Tomatoes, most of them actually, if you read the reviews, they actually review it after only six episodes, which I think was stupid. So you have to actually see the whole series and it is bad, but not... Uh, that bad, but I still, I still dislike it. I feel like the action was very bad and it's very, they drag too much. And for my number one, personal number one, I've said this in my, the the Defenders trailer reaction video. If you haven't checked it out, you check it out. The, link, the link's gonna be in the description below. My number one is Jessica Jones. I like it the best because I feel like it has the best performance. It has very compelling story and it changed my movie, my viewing experience as a whole. And of course the two Daredevil seasons and then finally Luke Cage is gonna be the third and Iron Fist is the last. So yeah, that is my thoughts. Before we get to the top five list, we will do honorable mentions and the first honorable mention is going to be the Punisher cameo. As you know, Punisher make an appearance in Daredevil season two and now the Punisher series is gonna be in the works and we might wanna see, both of us agree that we wanna see yep. Punisher. Right? Yeah, like for example, he could appear when maybe the defenders need help. Like for example, if you guys watched the last episode of Daredevil season two, um, where he stand on a rooftop, uh, he starts sniping the the hand members trying yeah, to true. help uh, Daredevil. Something like that could happen. It's just probably uh, it's really cool. We would like to see something like that. Yeah, j just a cameo. We don't yeah. need him to be a big part of it. And yeah, not not as big as Daredevil season two. He was quite. Quite yeah, he's an integral, integral part of the series. Yeah, quite integral. He so, yeah, doesn't have to be like that. There's gonna be four characters that have to balance in the balance in the series, and so Punisher just a cameo, just good enough, and we put in honorable mention because I don't we believe that it doesn't deserve top five list. And another honorable mention is the defenders getting proper suit, and for this instance, probably just Iron Fist because Luke Cage doesn't really need a suit and he doesn't he's bulletproof he doesn't have a, he doesn't really have a suit in the he's comic suit he, doesn't need one. he is the suit yeah. and for Jessica Jones she yeah she doesn't really need a costume we see a glimpse of her costume in season 1 of Jessica Jones what and she, she said it looks like a what a whore something a like hooker? that a hooker a hooker yeah, yeah. cheap hooker or something. She, she's not yeah. gonna use it we know that so probably just Iron Fist because I really want to see the Iron Fist costume in the series but if we don't see it in Defenders I think we can see it in season 2 of Iron Fist which I'm pretty sure they're gonna make hopefully well is it okay if I discuss this part with Iron Fist I'm not sure what the suit would look like but in my mind um, even though it's true to the comics um, his v-neck that goes all the way down here I don't think that will work in the current series no I Sorry. don't think that is like the old there is different incarnation of a suit yeah that's one of them the one that <laughs> i want to see one. is 
first of all, I want probably why uh, we talk about the suit is because Melvin Potter or the Gladiator, he made the suit for Daredevil and Elektra, so he could probably make the suit for the cast. And the suit that I want to see is actually the more modern twist, which is like the full sleeve uh, white green gold suit. And they don't really have the V-neck, but they have a picture of the logo of the oh, dragon okay. right there, still with the mask of Iron Fist. So I, I would want to see that. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the actual list. At number five is Electra's status. Will she be good again? Will she be bad at the end of the season? We don't know, because as we see in the trailers, she beat she beat up Daredevil. And as the four defenders was fighting in the hallway scene in that trailer, Electra just she lurking was, behind. She, just she was just standing there with her blades out. Yeah, we, we don't really know what's gonna be the status yeah. of Electra. Yeah, I mean, um, last time we saw her, um, she was killed, and then she was season two. in season two in Death Daredevil, and then she was buried out again, um, and then she was put in that, I forgot what it's called, but it's... It's owned thing. by the hand. Yeah, it's, it's owned by the hand, and they use it for resurrect resurrecting yeah. people. Yeah, well, we don't know if she's like under the control of the hand, or she's just came back to life. I mean, I remember in Iron Fist, they said that if you, um, if a person dies... Um, and comes back to life, they get crazier. Yeah, crazier, and yeah. could happen. That could happen to Electra, possibly. Just a theory. My my feeling is I don't think. Pretty, I'm pretty sure Electra might be brainwashed or mind controlled by the hand, which is why she's attacking Daredevil. I don't think she's attacking Daredevil because of personal reasons, because no, they're really close friends in a series. Yeah, technically a romance they were I yeah think exactly. they were in a relationship I don't the think comics. there's gonna be personal reasons behind it so I'm guessing it's gonna be I'm guessing mind controlled by the hand that's the closest thing we can think of it anything else you want to add um actually yeah it's all good okay do you think by the end of defenders she will regain her consciousness or she'll be good again teaming up with their devil again or do you think she will still be sort of in the control of the hand or will she be dead that is extremely hard to tell. I mean, it, I mean, from the clips we saw from the trailers, pretty much anything can happen to Elektra. I mean, she only appeared literally for like what two seconds in the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my my guess is she will probably be good again because she's actually one of the main cast for the Defender series. So the main cast is the four, of course, and Elektra, surprisingly, and so. Probably she will have much bigger role, so I'm guessing she will become good again by the end of the series, and we will see her back in their Devil Season Three. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to number four is Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Claire Temple's relationship, or the love triangle. As you might know from the end of Luke Cage series, uh, Luke Cage and Claire Temple, they are practically in a relationship. We even have hints of it in the Iron Fist series where. Luke Cage sends letter to Claire, right? Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah. But in the Jessica Jones series, we see Luke Cage and Jessica hooking up, of course. <laughs> it's and, more than hooking up. <laughs> and yeah, the reason why I want to see this love triangle plays out is because in the comics, if you geeks out there know what I'm talking about, in the comics, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, they get married and they actually have kids. And they are one of the most important uh, characters uh, relationship characters, lovers in the in the Marvel universe as a whole. Mm -hmm. So those two characters are very integral, and their relationship is the most iconic thing about them. So I want to see how the drama plays out in this series. I don't think we'll see a lot of that because probably they will deal about more of the crime and whatever in yeah. yeah. And, in other, and, there's York. Some, yeah. and there's of course um, other characters like yeah, the Daredevil and Iron Fist. Yeah, but still, I want to see. Um, I really want to see how the relationship plays out. Will Luke ends up with Claire in the end of the season, or will he go back to Jessica? Because I eventually want to see Luke and Jessica getting married. That's my honest thought. And so, yeah, I want to see how the relationship plays out. Um, I think their relationship, um, I mean, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, I'm pretty sure it's, in my mind, it's they're going to get closer with each other. I think he's going to end up with Jessica Jones, obviously, following the comic. And also, this time in Defenders, you get to see the two of them um, fighting alongside each other, with each other, of course. So there's mm -hmm. gonna be more interactions compared to more chemistry. The, yeah, more chemistry, more interactions with the characters. So you think he'll end up with Jessica at the end of the season? I'm pretty sure that's that's exactly how they plan it out to be. 
this pro this relationship i think might be aside from the main cast main characters the four relationship this relationship probably will be the most dynamic relationship between the characters because i i don't see the other characters having a romantic storyline in the series no not really i mean yeah. there danny might be with colleen but i don't think it's gonna yeah, play out much. that deep in the series um, Daredevil doesn't really have anyone. <laughs> Electra, technically Electra. Well, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, but this is the this is the other basically. That's what we want to see. Moving on to number three, Sigourney Weaver's character relationship with the Defenders. We don't know much about her. All we know is that her name is Alexandra, and the reason why we put it number three is because she has to be a big enough villain in order to come in order to combine not combine in order to form. Unite, yeah, you, unite you have to form the defenders all these four because they're basically like they're individuals they don't really want to work with each other they don't want to work with other people jessica is jessica is a loner uh, luke luke cage is also very independent and of course there is iron fist also they don't seem like the person who want to work together right yeah, yeah. but this sigourney weaver's character have to be something really important really crucial in order to join join uh com unite them together uh huh. And oh yeah, not to mention that um, if you've seen the trailer before, uh, the two of them, I mean not two of them, um, like let's say Daredevil and Jessica Jones, when they first meet up, it wasn't like even a friendly meet up, and and it gets even worse for Luke Cage and Iron Fist where they start beating each other, um, if you notice. Um, but moving on, but moving on from that, um, I would like to mention um, that uh, Stick in the first season of Daredevil. He mentioned that there was a war coming, but if, we don't really even in season two, yeah. And, and in season two, he kept talk. He kept he kept on talking about it too. Um, but the thing is, um, I'm I'm not sure if I didn't pay enough attention or anything, but I'm still not sure like what he meant by a war is coming. Like it could be a war with the hand, for example. So maybe we still haven't seen that. Yeah. Yeah. So Sigourney characters, uh, Sig um, Weaver Sigourney's, the uh, Sigourney Weaver Sigourney Weaver's character could be you know like a big boss of the hand like the top one maybe that's why she could be what the cause of the un unification of the defenders maybe yeah so yeah we we still that's true we still haven't seen the war that stick have been mentioning and stick yeah. even mentioned it in the trailers i think he was he was voice overing the trailer a lot he's he's talking about like you guys need to unite yeah and the the war is coming stuff like that yeah. I think he said like, do you think the four of you could save New York? I think that's what he also said. Yeah, yeah so my guess is Sigourney Weaver is going to be, yeah, like the big boss of the hand, even uh, higher rank than Gao and all the other hand members. I think she's gonna be like, she's gonna, the re she's gonna be the leader that creates the war, maybe. That's why the four of them have to be together. And I actually have a theory of who she is. Actually, I actually have no idea who she is. I never read the comics. <laughs> well, we know it's Alexandra, but I don't even know if that's her real character name or not. And I tried Googling Alexandra in Marvel Universe. I don't really see anyone, like, iconic. And so maybe this is something they completely made up. I'm not sure. But my prediction is Sigourney Weaver is Iron Fist, Danny Rand's mother. Because. Oh, oh shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> because in Iron Fist, we, we see her flew off, but we never see her body anywhere else. We don't know where uh, she is. Nobody, uh, they didn't say that she, she died. Yeah, they the father mentioned. died. It's the, the father, father was going died, to yeah. die. We don't know where she is. So my guess is she flew somewhere and she somehow ended up in the hands of the hand. No pun intended. <laughs> in the hands. <laughs> and she become, she become the big boss of the hand and she just, she changed her name to Alexandra maybe, I don't know. So that that's my guess actually, because we don't really see her face and if even if uh, we do see a glimpse of her face in Iron Fist. Maybe she could have a plastic surgery or something that makes her look different. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's a little, a little bit more <laughs> far-fetched, I think. But yeah, but maybe. It's, yeah, it's possible. Because that will be really interesting. If she is actually, uh, like, relation have a deep relationship with, with one of them. Yeah. Especially Iron Fist, because she's pro he's probably the weakest in terms of character out of the four. And even it's mentioned in an interview that uh, Iron Danny Rand will be the character that know what's going on, something like that. So that that will be very interesting if that actually happens. What do you think of that theory? Um, well, at first it sounded a bit far fetched, but now it's it's it makes sense. But I would like to ask. Um, 
um, Sigourney's Weaver's character, um, Alexander, she didn't seem to have some kind of, I don't know, like, like, if, if Danny Rand is truly her son, I mean, she, when she, like, I don't know, like, be surprised or anything, it looks, it seems like, in the, in the trailer, she does act like a typical bad guy. We only see two scenes of her, one where yeah. she's turning around, <laughs> yeah. and one where she's just in front of them, yeah. so that's, I don't, we don't, <laughs> that's probably not even the part where they meet her at first. Yeah, we can't like make it out from that trailer completely. Or even, or even if it is actually Danny Rand's mother, most likely my guess is they're not gonna reveal it until halfway through the season. Not like gonna be initial like, oh, you're my son, <laughs> right, right in the beginning. That's not that, that's not gonna that's not gonna happen. So probably halfway through the season they're gonna find out if that's true or not. So yeah, that's just a theory. Well, I, I'd be extremely surprised if that turned it, if it turned out to be like that. I swear to God, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to number two is how the four meet up. How Iron Fist, Daredevil, Luke Cage, and Jessica Jones, they all meet up. In the trailers, we see two and two, Jessica and Daredevil, and Luke Cage and Iron Fist, but we didn't see how the four of them meet up all together. No, we didn't. We, um, well, in the trailer, you saw in the end, probably, um, that the four of them did meet up, but that was like, you know, it's not like the first time they meet up all together. It's like after, maybe during a certain scene. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we would like to see how the four of them like all meet up all at once like You know like if you watch the the Avengers like they all meet up somewhere in the heli carrier Maybe something something like that could happen in the De in the defender series And we know what you guys might be saying like why do you put this number two? We know this is gonna happen the defender is gonna be formed the reason why I put it number two is not only how to form it up It's well. Yeah, it's how they meet up because if you think of X-Men and like Avengers, yeah, yeah. they meet up because they have to save the world. Yeah, like like in action. Phil Coulson told them to meet up. Yeah, like basically. like in action. And in this universe, I feel like Claire might be the Nick Fury that might assemble them. But the thing is, I don't think they will meet up because uh, superhero related stuff, related related stuff. I think they will meet up more of their regular human life, their uh, citizen, civilian life. Because you see Daredevil with Jessica, they meet up uh, as his attorney, right? Yeah. In the, pol in the police office. And we also see Luke Cage and Iron Fist meeting up in the in an alley and they were fighting. Because yeah, yeah. that is not like, whoa, there's something big. They all, they all met all together like in the middle of the town. No, yeah, they yeah. don't meet up like that. They yeah, meet up as their regular persona. So that's very interesting to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, Jessica Jones didn't meet Daredevil. She was meeting Matt Murdock. So yeah, that's how it. That's how it all kind of like began, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah, Claire Temple probably will unite them somehow because she knows everyone. Unless the director got bored and decided to just like make them meet up in the street somewhere in Manhattan, they just bumped into each other. <laughs> that's like the worst meeting up ever. I don't think. I don't think Daredevil was that. blind. He fell off the. He fell off some stairs. Oh, he can sense. He can sense the yeah, I know. I, I know. That's stupid. I know. Like, Ooh, I want to. I want to. I want to know what a real blind man feels like. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, what? Also, I want to point out again. In the trailers, you see their reactions when the two and two meet up. I really like their reaction. Like when their devil's like Jessica Jones, stop talking. I'm your attorney. And then like she's and like, then, who are and, you? And like really Matt Murdock was just like like just. Yes. A uh, straight face with a glass, like hmm, I'm your Tony. Stop talking. And then Misty Knight is like, "That's Misty Knight, by the way. Did yeah. you know is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's Misty Knight. Yeah, she's yeah. like, who? And then Jessica's like, the Jessica's rea reaction, Chris, uh, Chris and Rainer reaction was so good. She was like, the fuck? This is like, who <laughs> yeah, yeah. are you? Her face is like she doesn't give a shit about him. It's like, whoa, that's it's such a, a good reaction. It's like a typical drunk. She's just like, huh? What? <laughs> yeah. Also, Luke Cage and, and Iron Fist, pro the, like in the that's trailers, if that's how they really. In th the first time they see each other, they yeah. interact there, which I think it will be, and they fight the first time. That's gonna be so good. Yeah, I just like um, Luke Cage's reaction, like after he got knocked by the Iron Fist, because you know, well, the last person that did that, he broke his hand in the first episode yeah, of Luke Cage. Yeah, they fight right at the beginning, and that yeah. is, and that uh, is related to our number one in the list, which is Power Man and Iron Fist relationship. Why I want to see this is because if you know in the comics. They're known as the heroes for hire. They're basically they're basically like vigilantes, and they're this their persona, Iron Fist and Power Man. Power Man is the persona of Luke Cage. So they're basically heroes for hire. They ask people, uh, they look for people. For example, like, hey, 
I want you to catch this stuff for me. Okay, we'll do it. You pay. You pay us. So basically like that. I, and they're basically like bros in the comics. They're like best friends. They're almost like family in some way. So I I want to see how their relationship play out. And what makes me even more hype is cause like, like we said the Ali scene. Their yeah. first time we see each other, the first time they see each other is they're gonna be fighting. So that's gonna be really interesting. Yeah, yeah. And um, another thing I would like to add is actually the Iron Fist and Daredevil relationship because um, there's a comic um, where Iron Fist he took the mantle of Daredevil, as in he took Daredevil's suit and becomes Daredevil. Mm -hmm. um, and this event actually relates to Captain America: Civil War because you mean it, you mean it, Civil War in the comics, not Captain yeah, America. not a Captain America: Civil War. But point is, point is. Um, in the Civil War, uh, Daredevil sided with Captain America, but he was um, he was arrested by the Superhuman Registration Act. Ah, oh, that part. Yeah, that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. The yeah, so he was arrested because of that because he was he wasn't siding with Tony Stark, mm -hmm. and so Iron Fist um, took Daredevil's um, outfit and he portrayed Daredevil. And trying to prove that he's innocent, that he's not like um, a bad vigilante or anything. That's basically the thing is um, that was during the events of Civil War, which um, has passed. Um, however, I think with with all the setting they have done for the Defenders, something like that could potentially happen. So yeah, I would I would actually like to see um, Danny Rand, um, Iron Fist, using Daredevil's red suit and you everything. Actually, are you actually saying that will happen? Um, I'm saying I would like to see that happen. I'm not saying that it will happen. I don't think it can happen because the actual events of Civil War has passed, but it is set in the same un Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? So Yeah, I don't actually... I, I read the main uh, Civil War storyline. I'm guessing this is one of the one-offs of the Civil War, so I don't really know that. But I don't actually really want to see Danny Rand take on the mantle of Daredevil. This is my this is my personal thought. I don't I don't want to see that happening. I want to see uh, Matt Murdock as as Daredevil himself and our, uh, Danny Rand as Iron Fist himself. Yeah, That's yeah, just my thought. Though. Yeah, I would just like to mention about that. Um, Daredevil in the trailer didn't use his red suit at all. Like he only used this. He literally went back to yeah, his yeah, first yeah. season. I'm just wondering, like, what happened? She's using Jessica Jones' scarf. Oh, yeah, it was her scarf. Yeah, it was her scarf. Yeah, in, in the trailer, it was, in the trailer it was like, he looks stupid. It's your scarf. <laughs> it was like... Yeah, 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 it was mentioned there. I just remember. <laughs> so, yeah, the Iron Fist and Daredevil relationship might be interesting. And, like I said, yeah, the, we really want to see all the four interact, not just yeah. in their superhero persona, but as their real-life citizen civilians, yeah. too. But then again, the the one that we really want to see play out is Iron Fist and Luke Cage because like we, I said, Heroes for Hire, we might see that in Season 2 of Iron Fist and Luke Cage. I don't think they're going to happen in Defenders because it's limited, no, there's yeah. only 8 episodes, which I think is smart really. Because in 13 episodes, there is times where the series feels dragged. You yeah. do agree that for Luke Cage especially. Yeah, like Luke Cage, um, I think if you reach like around episode episode 6 or 7, um, whenever he got wounded by that by that gun, the, the Judas round, yeah. Um, that's when it got, you know, slowed because he was wounded and he was literally, he had to travel somewhere else and all that. So it yeah, was yeah. Like, quite a drag. Even though, because the thing is, for this, uh, all the Netflix series, they are 13 episodes, which is actually really smart. It's, they, they should not go 23 episodes. It, that's going to be horrible. Yeah. And the thing why 13 episodes is smart, because they only have one storyline, unlike the DCCW series like The Flash, they have 23, because they have so many fillers in between, because their plot is like, there's so many plot going on. But this one, they have one storyline, and it feels like just one movie, basically, in this one. CW series, they could go with a lot of movies. But Netflix, it feels like one one movie with which run for eight hours long yeah, yeah. i mean 13 hours long how long so with um, the defenders which is miniseries just eight episodes i think it's really smart so it doesn't feel drag and so yeah i, I really we really want to see the relationship with iron face and lucas and especially the opening the opening part in, in trailer also that is that sets the bar high because they're gonna fight i don't know how long they're this fast gonna, that fight's gonna last it's gonna be insane because we, the first thing that happened is Luke, Iron Fist didn't use his fist yet. He yeah. tried to beat Luke Cage and Luke Cage just BOOM! <laughs> Iron Fist just fall to the ground. Yeah. And then like... And then, and then he just like easily went back up. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with your fist? <laughs> yeah, and then you saw, and then you saw the, the power man got knocked out. <laughs> it's quite cool. 
So yeah, that we just want we want to see how that fight plays out. We want to see how the relationship grows from there, cause they're from a they're from basically strangers to acquaintance to probably friends. So yeah, that's gonna be the best, the most, the most compelling thing I want to see in our in defenders. What I actually would like to see about the Iron Fist and and um, Luke Cage Luke is Cage. that is basically how they fight. I mean, we did saw that hallway scene, but it was only like you know a few yeah. seconds. Like what we want, what we want to see in there is like um, a lot more action scenes in involving um, Luke Cage and yeah, Iron Fist. like dynamic duo, you know? Yeah, like a dynamic duo. Like you yeah. saw like. Um, Luke Cage, he took all the hits because he's very tough and then you saw Iron Fist just wall kicking off and then punched the guy in front of him. Like the tank and the arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Like, <clears throat> like, it's like, yeah, it's very dynamic the way they fight. It's not just awesome. There's yeah, more. Because they, they balance each other out. One of them yeah. is like someone who's like a, like an armor, it's like a shield. He can take hits and one guy who's just very reckless and just takes hit, just hits all the time. Yep, and then, and then they'd be fighting next to a blind man and a drunk. <laughs> like, 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 She's wait. not always drunk. The, yeah, it's one of her problems according to the <laughs> Marvel wiki. Yeah? That's true, she drinks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and also, not only just the dynamic duo in terms of the fighting, I also think we both agree that Iron Fist in terms of character, she, he is the weakest. Yeah, he is. Because the story in Iron Fist is not really that compelling. And if you see in the trailers, it looks like four vigilantes and a little brat, which is Henny Ren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. He's like he's like smaller compared to the rest. And like, Luke Cage is just so humble, so calm and collected, while Iron Fist is just so reckless and he want to do things on his own. I feel like Luke Cage, uh, not Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Henny Ren, could learn so much and his characters could develop so much just by spending time and learning from Luke Cage. Yeah, it's gonna be real interesting. Yeah, Danny Rand seems to act like the the youngest of all the members. Like he's the one that still needs a lot to learn. I think from... he is the youngest in terms of age. The, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I think in he terms is. of the comics, I think he is because I'm not mistaken in the comics that was mentioned that he's around 17 years old, which is younger than us. In the comics, not that. Well, you're... in the MCU, I'm pretty yeah. sure he have to be older than that because no, he's 20 something. If I'm mistaken. Because he's first of all he's working. And he have to be older than Spider-Man, even though this is MCU, yeah. not it, but MCU is Spider-Man is still he's, in high school. Technically, he's twenty-five. So he to, I mean, it's he easy. He, he got lost at he got lost at age ten, and and, Lana, huh? and then he returned fifteen years later at twenty-five. Oh, okay, so he's twenty-five. <laughs> he's twenty-five, and he's not seventeen. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah. So probably it, sort of like not only just friend, but maybe like a mentor figure also, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So that's gonna be really interesting. So yeah guys, that is the end for our top 5 list. What do you guys, uh, what what do you think of our list? Do you agree or do you disagree? Tell us in the comment section below your own personal top 5 list that you want to see in Defenders. Uh, anything else you want to add, Eric? Oh yeah, and if you have any, you know, further theories that can, you know, help us, um, feel free to write down anything in the comment section below. Oh yeah, tell us who do you think Sigourney Weaver is actually yeah. is. Do you agree with my theory or not? Probably you've heard, heard this theory somewhere else because I also, this is not from myself either. I got it from other sites online, Twitter, YouTube, all these theories. And I really find it really compelling. So tell me in the comment section below, do you agree or do you disagree? Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Uh, Arik, you want to plug out anything? Your Instagram maybe for the people to follow? Um... Wait, I don't have that much social media accounts. Um, there is, I have uh, Instagram if you want to follow, uh, at Arik Andrea. Um, if you want to follow, of course, but you don't have to. I'm cool I'm uh, with that. <laughs> I'm cool with that. <laughs> follow me at JA Viradharma on Twitter and Instagram if you want to see what I post on a daily basis. I also post, I post a lot of stuff on Twitter, so you can follow me there. Uh, until next time, Jiao out.